Hey everyone, I didn't want to resist the opportunity to go ahead and make a quick video about the fact that Roe v. Wade has, after far too long, been overturned. Now, a little while ago, I actually did make a video about this when the Supreme Court decision was leaked, and really there isn't anything more that I can add to what I said in that video, so I'll link it at the end of this video, but... For now, I just basically wanted to say I'm absolutely very relieved by this, and it makes me hopeful, makes me happy, and it makes me look forward to what's to come in the future. Now, there are a lot of people who will rightly say that this is only the beginning of the battle. The battle has basically been split into 52 different states, and we have a lot more to do, and I totally want to agree with that and affirm that, but I don't think that should stop us from celebrating right now and seeing this as an absolute victory. And I want to take this opportunity to remind you of something I did say in my previous video on this, and that is that Christians should stop living with an absolutely pessimistic outlook on the future. While our victory in America in forwarding the Christian worldview is not a guaranteed win, I do think that this shows that we can win individual battles, and if we continue to rely on God and rely on his strength and continue to refuse to be passive in our culture, then I believe that victory can actually become a possibility for us. So continue to push, continue to fight the pro-life cause, and don't be afraid to celebrate today, even though there's a lot more to do. So again, check out the video that I already did on this, and in that video I talk about biblical arguments for the pro-life position, and I talk about many of the things that I'm simply reasserting here, and what Christians should do and how Christians should view our engagement with culture. So thank the Lord for what has happened today and we'll see you around in the next video. Thanks for watching.